The world's giant telecommunication companies are in a global race to be the first to launch 5G, the next generation of mobile data that will revolutionize how we use the internet and will have ramifications that could impact global power. This is why the US and China are engaged in a cold war to build the technology first. But before we get to that, let's look at just how impressive 5G could be. 5G is the fifth generation of mobile internet, delivering speeds that are much faster than the current 4G. It will mean that a two-hour HD movie that currently takes seven minutes to download could be downloaded in six seconds. Yes, six seconds. But the 5G potential is much more than downloading movies in almost no time. Once complete, 5G will lay the foundation for a communication architecture that will change how we do things. For starters, it will change how we drive. 5G will allow autonomous vehicles to connect with each other and any supportive driving infrastructure. Chinese search giant Beidou already successfully tested self-driving cars connected to a 5G network in March 2018. Since then, it has also built more than 100 self-driving buses. Last year, the Chinese government launched the country's first 5G autonomous vehicle test site in Beijing at a 2.2-kilometer track. The track has four lanes equipped with sensors, smart traffic lights, and most importantly, a built-in Huawei antenna with super-fast 5G signal, which allows the cars to detect movement, react to changing conditions, and receive data from smart roads and other cars. 5G will also revolutionize healthcare. Doctors will be able to diagnose and treat patients at a distance, changing the way millions, if not billions, of us access healthcare. This is what the hospitals of the future could look like. No long queues for treatment, doctors will be able to connect and examine their patients virtually. Even remote surgeries will be possible. Zero lag time means surgeries can be done remotely with robot surgeons. And this is already happening. This year, a Chinese surgeon performed the world's first 5G-powered brain surgery. And this is how. He used remotely controlled robot surgeons on a patient that was 3,000 kilometers away. While remote surgery is still in its trial phase, thanks to 5G, they may well become a reality in the near future. With all the technological advances it will provide, 5G will be powering the fourth industrial revolution, where everything is interconnected wirelessly, changing the industrial production of tomorrow. As factories become smarter, more dependent on automation, powered by 5G, jobs that rely on manpower will take a hit. Bots will replace millions of blue-collar jobs, and will likely live in a world with fewer cashiers, security guards, taxi drivers, and manual jobs in manufacturing, but more jobs in innovation in tech. With 5G, artificial intelligence, augmented reality and virtual reality will come together as an integral part of our daily life. Advanced industries like telecommunications, biotechnology and artificial intelligence will make multi-billion dollar profits thanks to 5G. So whoever's leading the way with 5G technology will be primed to lead the future global economy. Right now, the top countries racing to obtain 5G technology are China, the US, South Korea and Japan. And China is best placed as it has done the most to develop an infrastructure for commercializing 5G. Huawei claims that they are months ahead of other 5G manufacturers. They are already helping countries like Russia build their own 5G. And Americans are not happy about it. They steal half a trillion dollars from us every year in intellectual property and technology. The U.S. has been at the forefront of almost all telecommunication innovations in the last century. This leadership has provided the U.S. economy with billions of dollars. Currently, the wireless industry supports more than 4.7 billion jobs and contributes roughly $47 billion annually to the U.S. economy. A study by Qualcomm on the benefit of 5G said that it will generate up to $3.5 trillion in revenue in 2035 and create 22 million jobs. So losing the 5G race will mean losing billions of dollars and millions of jobs to China. China has outspent the US by $24 billion since 2015 on 5G infrastructure. It has 350,000 mobile towers which support 5G sites. The US has only 30,000. And although China has received a big blow after top US corporations like Google and Qualcomm blacklisted Huawei over espionage claims, Huawei is still determined to be a leading global 5G provider. So, regardless of whether the real concern over China acquiring 5G is a result of a fear of espionage or dominating the global economy, the country that wins the 5G race will impact global power. Is the US position at the head of the table under threat?